Some in Mineral Ridge spent their sunny Sunday touring this historical home. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier spoke with the owner about her long road to restoring her ancestors' house. This is where my ancestors lived. They came from Luxembourg in 1855 and bought this house in 1859. And over 130 years later in 1990, Mary Lou Moss Godleski bought her ancestors home back. But it wasn't this beautiful and historically accurate when she bought it. It was condemned and had dogs living where the kitchen now stands. It took a lot of work to restore it to its 1800s era glory. When we unearthed this fireplace, it was a miracle because uh, it was all intact. Wow. So uh, it was all full of dirt. As she took me through all three floors, she described repairing fire damage in the attic and the work it took to get electric, plumbing, and gas to code. It's now filled with photos of her ancestors and previous owners, as well as items from the time period. Goodleski tells me it means everything to her to own a big piece of her family history and have an idea of how they lived. It's really thrilling. Um, I used to think, you know, that this was worn down by maybe my ancestors rubbing their knives on here, sharpening. But I had all these pictures in my mind of my ancestors living here. After a decade of trying, Godlessie got the home put on the National Register of Historic Places this year. Things like this don't always last and so many of them get torn down. And uh, I don't want it to be torn down. I want it to last so people can see and appreciate their ancestors and their families that came before them. The Moss Ancestral Home has an open house every second Sunday of the month. In Mineral Ridge, Abigail Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.